Now, experts from several countries are joining an international probe into the tragic crash of a Malaysian passenger jet. The wreckage site in eastern Ukraine is spread out over a several kilometre radius. A white cotton markers have been placed where the victims' bodies have been found. All 298 people on board were killed, among them 80 children. It's believed that the plane was shot down by a missile. However, the European Commission says it has seen no evidence confirming this so far. A team of monitors from Europe's main security watchdog arrived at the scene on Friday. Earlier, some of them complained that local self-defence forces were restricting their access to the area, but now say that it's been widened. Ukrainian security services say that they have now negotiated a safe zone around the wreckage. International experts working there say they face a difficult task. It's an investigative uh, team on place here. That is not our job. We are not investigating the cause for it, we also do not speculate on it, but what we are here for is to see uh, what measures are in place, whether the perimeter is secured uh, and whether measures and what measures have been taken uh, to deal with this in a human and most efficient way. Well, Roman Kosherev managed to get to the scene of the tragedy while OSCE monitors were exploring it and he filed this report. We are now way past the 24-hour mark that uh, the bodies of the people that uh, died at the crashed Malaysia Airlines flight have been lying around uh, here uh, along with the burning uh, debris. Now, the OSC mission had already uh, come here to spend uh, about an hour uh, talking to people and scouring uh, the area. Then they left, so we couldn't get uh, any information from uh, them right away. They were uh, keeping mum about the whole thing, but certainly the shock was uh, definitely uh, uh, on their faces. Now, it's not just uh, this area that's uh, been affected. Uh, the uh, debris had, and along with the bodies had fallen in an area of around uh, 12 kilometers here. So this is going to be uh, a lengthy, uh, lengthy process uh, for identification and for investigation uh, as well. And uh, right now, I'd ask you to take a look at uh, what we have seen uh, here so far and uh, how this uh, tragedy had affected the people that live here in eastern Ukraine. This woman was out working in her garden when her son told her a body had fallen from the sky and broken through the roof of their house. The badly mangled victim of the Malaysian Airlines flight has now been laying in Inna's kitchen for more than a day. At first I didn't notice anything. My son went out and said, Mom, there is a body in the kitchen. There was plaster everywhere. I thought it was just a pile of rubbish. But then I understood that it was a human body without a leg and with arms twisted and broken. It was a man who fell out of the plane and through the roof. It's a murder, a real murder. My wife and I were having dinner when we heard a strange noise that sounded like clapping. As soon as we went out of the house, we saw a body lying nearby. It must have fallen from a very high altitude. The only thing left on the body was a T-shirt. It was a man. The legs were broken. I saw practically no blood. Now you can smell this odour over here. There are no words to describe it. Here's my house. And it all happened right here. I was watching TV. I heard a roar and two explosions. I went out and saw a spinning plane without a wing with something falling out of it. The area where the plane crashed is near several mines that sustain people economically in the Donetsk region. So it comes as no surprise that coal miners were some of the first on hand to help at the scene of the tragedy. I've lived here with my family my whole life, here where the crash happened. I've been working in this coal mine for 40 years, and now I just want to help, that's all. There are 30 people in our ship, and just two of them went to work. Others came here to help. It's thought relatives of the victims are going to be arriving here shortly, and no doubt they will be seeking answers. But it seems they could be in for quite a wait to find out just how their loved ones were taken from them. Roman Kosarev, RT, Donetsk, Ukraine.